Hi, I am Jacob Wagner. In this video, I will show you how to work with Clonus plus effectors and shape layers and illustrator layers. In this scene, I have two layers. They are exactly the same, except one is a shape layer and the other one is a illustrator layer. I'm going to show you how to use both of those together with the cloner system. Let's start with the shape layer. When you purpose this plugin, you also get a shape splitter. And it's not meant to be a general shape splitter to work with all shapes in After Effects for all purposes. It's only meant to be a tool for you to get your shapes inside the cloner. It's pretty easy to use, but there are a few basic things that you need to know. If we look at this shape layer down here and unfold it and see the contents, we can see that all the three layers are inside the same shape layer, but they are separated into groups in the shape layer. We can select this layer now and we can select a uh, anchor point that we wish to use. I'm just going to go with the center. And we just click split it. And let's hide this one, which is the original layer. We now got everything on its own layer. And at the same time, it has put the anchor point in the center on each layer. As with the text, if I select those now, and I scale them down, then they're not going to scale down on the same uh, horizontal axis because the anchor point is positioned in the center of each of these, but because they're not the same height, the anchor point is not positioned at the same place vertically. This small plugin actually functions in two ways. One thing is you can split it apart but it also works as a set anchor. So if you have something that you have already split apart, you can just use the set anchor function to change this. So if I wanted all of them to be in the bottom, I just select the bottom, go set anchor, it's gonna be at the bottom. But if I want it to be at the center of this one, and then have the same center for all of them, vertically, then I could use this use first toggle. So if I select this one first and I then select the other ones and I select center and set anchor, now it's going to be completely centered on the first one that I've selected and the other ones are going to be centered horizontally but vertically it's going to have the same anchor point as the first one I've selected. So now if I scale them down, they're going to scale down on the same horizontal axis. All right, so I'm just going to delete those. And we're going to have a look at the Illustrator file instead. If we do the same with the Illustrator file, maybe on toggle use first and have this center selected and choose split it. It is going to split the Illustrator file into all its components, but it's not going to separate into the different trees. Every single part of this illustration now has its own layer. And that's going to give us a lot of layers, even for a illustration like this. So we're going to delete all this. What we really want is we want it to separate each tree in here onto its own layer. We could do that by left clicking it and using this convert to layered comp function that are inside After Effects. But before we do that, we need to go into Illustrator to see how the Illustrator file is organized. So we go into Illustrator and we can see that we have all of those in their own group. Unfortunately, this is still not going to give us the result we are after. What we want is we want each of these trees to have its own layer over here. To do that is quite easy. Once you've got everything is in its own group, you simply select everything 
go into the menu on the layer panel and select release to layers sequence. You now take all the new layers that is created and drag them out of the main layer and select the main layer and delete that. And now you're gonna have all of these in their own layer. And that is exactly what we want. So we're gonna save this and go into After Effects. In later version of After Effects, you got this auto update. So this Illustrator file is already updated to have those new layers. What I can do now is I can select it, right click the layer and select Convert to Layer Comp. It's going to convert it into a composition. And if I go into that composition, you can see that I now have each tree on its own layer. And we can see that they are all Illustrator layers. What I like to do is just to copy these, go into my main file and just paste them in here like that. Let's put them down here. Before I put them into the cloner, because there's a trees and probably grown up of the ground, I would like to put the anchor point down at the center. So I select this and choose set anchor. I then click the big add cloner button. We don't want a linear cloner in this case. We want to have a cluster cloner. And I'm just going to hide this cloner icon. Now they're inside the cloner system and we can start adding effectors. So let's put in a plane effector with a linear fall off and a uh, maybe a quadratic curve that are controlling the scale. And let's go into the scale settings and scale them down to minus 100 and minus 100. Now when we animate the effector on top of the trees, they're going to animate out of the ground. So we don't have to keyframe everything. We just keyframe this one effector and that will create our animation. Let's try changing this to elastic and only have it on the outside. And let's take the fall off of a lot. So now we're going to have this elastic animation. All right, that was everything about the shape splitter and illustrator layers and shape layers. In fact, this was the last video in this whole working with cloners plus effectors videos. Thank you for watching. See you in a later tutorial.